What's up everyone? I know I haven't been uploading videos daily, but I have been training and filming daily. I just haven't had time to do the editing to upload the videos every single day. But I'm going to keep uploading those so you know that I'm still sticking to my 30 day parkour challenge. And today I was busy, so I haven't been able to get to my training until tonight, which is a little below freezing right now. And in a few days, I have an eye appointment to potentially get LASIK eye surgery, so I'm not supposed to wear contacts or anything like that training. So now I'm <laughs> training at night, below freezing, with no contacts, so I can't see very well. So this will be kind of interesting. Once again, not going to go hard in this video, just, you know, going to get in some movement training, probably some balance, and just uh, feel it out, make sure I don't miss my step in the dark with no proper vision so <laughs> anyways but that's what motivation is about it's about training even when the circumstances are against you to train if you're still able to go out there and do something that's when you make the most progress and the most gains so here we go
So I ended up spending a lot of time on this little rail combo with leg kicks. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I was doing, but it was kind of fun, so I kept going with it. And ended up with this cool little flowy combo thing into a rail macaco. Here's one other advantage to the 30 day parkour challenge, is most of the time, every day you do parkour, you're not gonna regret it. You're going to do it and be like, that was awesome, I'm glad I did that. Today was one of those days where I was super busy, and is at the end of the day, here at night, had no motivation to go do parkour, but I'm like, but I gotta stick to my challenge, so I'm going to go do it. Now that I've done it, I've actually had a lot of fun trying new things and you just kind of get in that mindset, get in that zone and then it's like, wow, what else would I have been doing if I didn't come and do parkour? Maybe something productive, but it was definitely beneficial to get out to do some training. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little training session and I uh, hope it gave you some ideas for your own training because here I mostly just worked with a single handrail so and was able to come up with some new things, new ideas, you know, nothing that might be show reel worthy but are things that are just good overall body coordination and flow control, things like that and it's just fun to do. So yeah, that's all for tonight. We'll see you next time.